my mind and there puts a lotion on its skin. It's time to bruise the news with America's favorite game of farcical articles. Whose headline is it anyway? We found some of the wokest and wackiest headlines on the web, mixed in a few that we made up ourselves, and now we're going to see if our man panel can match the screwy headlines with the screwballs who wrote them. Jason, Kevin, Mike, are y'all ready to play? What? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, that's affirmative. All right, here we go. This is headline number one. This one is for Jason. The newest Bitcoin diet trend is hating seed oils. Is that A, the New Yorker, B, Vice, or C, a fake headline? Is this like shaming? Is this fat shaming? Is that in that world? Because I'm going to go with Vice. And you would be, yeah, you would be correct. That is vice. Now, seed oils are like grapeseed oil and canola oil. And and there's this whole thing. You need to get rid of seed oils. That's why you have freckles. It's not true. It's total nonsense. (laughs) All right, Kevin, this is for you. Here's your headline. America has a free speech problem. Is that the New York Times, MSN.com, or a fake headline? Uh, I think that's uh, New York Times. And Kevin is also on the board. Hey, with Jason for let's one. Go. I know Mike reads a lot of news and phony baloney news as well, trying to defend it. Mike, here's your headline. Conservatives say they want freedom, but what they really want is to be controlled. Is that the Washington Post, NPR, <laughs> or a fake headline? Well, see, I'm intimidated because both of these two bright guys on the panel have gotten it right right now. This could easily be true or could easily be fake, mm-hmm. uh, but I'm going to say it's the Washington Post. And you would be wrong. It's a fake headline. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> what All a right, dummy. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> We're better. He, he calling you names. Dummy, you know, that hurts your yes. feelings. I don't care that he's written. I don't care that he's written books. That dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Kevin came to play. Like, he's trying to shake your confidence. I might give him an extra point. It's for all right. That. Okay. It's okay. Jason, here you go. Here's your headline okay. It's time for the elites to rise up against the ignorant masses. Is that foreignpolicy.com, Jacobin Magazine, or a fake headline? That sounds like a 20 something who lives with his parents, so Jacobin. No, it's FP. <laughs> Oh, well, that's okay. You're still, uh, you're still tied with Kevin for the lead. You did not get that correct. Kevin, Mr. Giggle Uh-oh. Sticks. Here you go. Let's see if you can get this one right with all of your <laughs> gum flapping. Uh, here's your headline. It's time to cancel a problematic fishing rod company. Is that Teen Vogue, NPR, or a fake headline? I think that's a fake headline. Kevin is in the oh, lead. That is no, no. Yeah, that's right. It's fake. I don't oh, know why hey, they gave you the we'll buzzer. <laughs> that that was nonsense. You said fake headline. It's You're a fake headline. Him. Yeah. <laughs> and that buzz him again. Might have been Mike. <laughs> okay. Mike, yeah, here Mike's you go. taking control Excuse of the buzzer. Me. Let's see if, that was made. The let's was see made. if you can exactly. get in the game yes. here, Mike. Uh, here's your headline. <laughs> Broke men are hurting American women's marriage prospects. Is that the New York Post, NPR, or a fake <sighs> headline? God. Well, if it was New York Post, they would say, like, bozos are ruining marriage <laughs> prospects. So I, I guess, I don't know. I, I'll just, I'll say NPR. And you would be wrong. It's the New York Post. Don't overthink ah. it, Mike. Don't overthink God. it. All that's right. that's one doing? of the keys to game night. <laughs> I don't know. You don't want to get, it, I feel like heaven's gotten in your head. That's okay. Let's see if uh, you can come back for revenge. It's <laughs> a good All place right. to be. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Jason, here's your next headline. The racist undertones of Bob the Builder. Is that from BuzzFeed, <laughs> Vox, or a fake headline? Okay, this one's tough. BuzzFeed. Final answer? <laughs> yep. Yeah, well, now you're making me question it. Yes, I'm going with my final answer. BuzzFeed. Ah, no, it's a fake headline. We made it up. <laughs> Bob the Builder is so not racist. He's like, but really? it is racist. He's really, really not racist. If you know Bob, like You've I know Bob. You've never had drinks with Bob Woo! the Builder. He's yeah. a white supremacist. <laughs> After no, hours, Bob. I didn't yes, he's a wild. white supremacist. <laughs> I love That's it. That's right. All right. Uh, here we go, Kevin. Your next headline, white nationalists want to reclaim nature as a safe space for racists. Is that vice, <laughs> scientific American, or a fake headline we made up? Uh, I think that's a fake headline. No! Vice actually had 
an article. White nationalists uh, want to reclaim nature as a safe nice. space for racists. <laughs> Who's in your head now, Kevin? Oh, Who's in your head now? It happened. All right, so Mike is Mike's ready. He's ready to pounce now. He smells blood in the water. Mike, here you it's go. True. Is climate anxiety ruining my friendships? Is this headline from the New Statesman, the Indian Express, or a fake headline? Aren't these all fake publications? I don't, I don't recognize any the of these The New Statesman. <laughs> I bought you a subscription <laughs> last year. Apparently, you haven't been reading oh, it. Oh, that's true. That, I, well, I've enjoyed the Jelly of the Month Club that you bought for me. That's been very good. <laughs> it's a gift that keeps on giving. Uh, is climate anxiety ruining my friend? I'll go with New Statesman. And I, Mike you know, is whatever. on the board. Hey. Yes. Board. On the board. You are tied with to have. Kev. Or, sorry, you're tied with Jason. <laughs> uh, last question. This one is worth two. Kevin, you can win it all. Anyone can win it all with this. Here you go, Jason. Here's your headline. The racist history of tipping. Is that CNN, Politico, or a fake headline? I think Brian Stelter wrote this before he quit or got <laughs> fired. CNN. Nope, it's Politico. You're not going to win the game. Kevin, here you go. Here's your last headline. For two points, I tried three types of cat food, and they were all terrible. Is this BuzzFeed, The Guardian, or a fake headline? I think it's BuzzFeed. No, it's a fake headline. You could oh, still no. win the game if Mike blows this. I would have guessed Mike. That. Mike on, really Mike. wants this. All right, Mike, here's your last headline I'm for gonna two blow points. It. I'm going to blow it. The return of the rug. Could Macron's hairy chest start a new fashion? Is this The Guardian, The New Republic, or a fake headline? <sighs> I'm going New Republic. That's my guess. No, it was The Guardian. I'm absolutely disgusted with you, Mike Chase. I'm disgusted. I <laughs> totally. thought you were going to get that. It obviously wasn't fake. That <sighs> Kron's chest hair has inspired a, an international movement of manscaping. Um, but enough about Jason's eyebrows. But who Jason's won? Eyebrows. Who won? Kevin wins! Hey! Kevin Don't say it out loud. Don't First you time a Democrat's going to win on this Kevin network. Wins. That's right. Uh, congratulations. You get to take Jason and Mike out for a very expensive chicken parm dinner. Thank you all so much for playing. $25 a piece. Well done. Well done. <laughs>